the word group. Say it again. Fire a carpet. Let's go to the fire wacky and enjoy the fire wacky. Thank you. Okay. What's up, Mini Truckers? Ben here, Houston Mini Trucks. Got my new fire truck, Subaru Sandbar. It's got the uh, really well equipped, got the siren. It's got a PA system. I can't do the siren because I've been doing it too much, so I just gotta, you know, pace myself. Once I get out, it has awesome sirens. It's got the, the, the horn, so like when you're going through intersections, instead of the siren, you go, eh, eh. It's got a cute little chime. So I'll show you that stuff. Uh, you're actually supposed to have like a little emblem here. The uh, like paramedic emblem. I'll walk you around some of the other cool features if I, hopefully we can fit in here. I didn't want to have to pull it out just yet. Okay, I added this little decal. I put my fire department in New York on there. It's got this rad bench. So it actually has two sets of seat belts. So one for Santa Claus and one for you. And then you just put them right in there. The other thing I thought was super rad is check this out. So that lifts up, you can store some apparatus. I've got a little tape measure in there and then it buckles closed right here. You've got a rear bed light right there. You've got a hold handle. This piece is actually designed, oh, it's hard to see. I'm gonna have to zoom out and put you back on the ground. Piece right here is designed to hold the ladder. So it actually pulls out and it's like spring operated. And I think it would squeeze the ladder in here and then you just rest it here and then it fits same thing here. So that's pretty rad. I saw basically here is supposed to be a, like a, a pickaxe as it comes across like this. These are adapter, or, you know, hose nozzle connections. I just put the bug spray in this one because we have a lot of mosquitoes here. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you the other side. This thing, I love this thing. Really good, it was grade four. I mean, it does have some defects. You can see a little bit there. It looks like the ladder here is kind of rusted. But man, starts and runs like a freaking top. I don't know if I've ever had one to run this good, you know, but it only has I forget, 7,500 kilometers, which is just a handful of miles, maybe 5,000 or so. Okay, so some of the other cool things I haven't got yet. I'm working on getting the LED lights. So I'll get some LED lights. It actually has a mounting jack here and mounting here, and then it's got electric already run. I've tested it, so it has a switch. It's super easy. When the switch is on, it'll run my lights uh you've got a spotlight so this thing is pretty cool i've got to get a screw for it but super bright and you can see that it's pretty rad and that's activated with this little switch here if anybody has a good idea what to do for the water pump i'm all game this is kind of what the way the bracket you can come out like this i'm not sure exactly why you would want to do this maybe just for more maneuverability or something but that comes out and then it kind of latches down it actually this is kind of a cool thing too i noticed so like these tubes on the sides is basically to run your exhaust so they don't really do you know maybe that's a drain pipe for the water uh, you can see with the way they run them basically it just comes out right there so that one was just designed for the exhaust um, one of the different things it has versus the normal Subaru, you've got like these grill covers over the tail lights. So in case you're doing, you know, a debris or something, I'm looking to get a hose. That's where you would put your hose up on that area where I have the club. You can kind of see it. Let me climb up. Oh, this is the side. There's Ginger. That's our mascot dog. Ginger, what are you doing? Are you the fire dog now? All right, she's a Dalmatian, she thinks. She's a rescue, so if you haven't already, get you a dog, super cool. All right, so this is the way it's actually, you're supposed to kind of get in from this side. Let me show you, you've got a little step there, and then you just hop in. 
the ones I've seen, there was some sort of like metal piece on this side, like a, it uh, looked like almost like some sort of shelving or something, but I'm not sure what it was used for. This is where you, I've got a suction hose I'm gonna order, but basically it kind of wraps around, goes through here actually once, and then comes through here twice, and then rests. This fire extinguisher I actually found inside of this thing. There's no water tank, so you'd have to, uh, and look at this, it's actually full. And then I've, it just had these latches, so I kind of hunted it down. It has like a lot of these, if you notice, like there's a little silver thing and these silver hangers. I think that's for, you know, like an ax or a shovel or different pieces. Oh, cool, I just found out this piece. Looks like it's got another, it had another post in there at one point, if you notice. It's the same kind of thread. I'm, maybe I can use this, because I'm missing one of my pieces. Coming here, you can see up there, they actually had a light mounted, but it's been removed. So I tested these wires right here. They're getting 12 volts. And we can come inside. I'm gonna add these lights. I don't know where I'm gonna put those yet. So yeah, I actually sent off to my translator. They translated this for me, so I'll show you that in the translation video. Doesn't seem like the siren can be uh, muted any. But the PA system, this is the speaker in the PA. When I first saw it, this was in the, I saw this, and then when I first picked it up at the port, it was like this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get a mic. I don't know much, but I know that's a mic input. And then I was looking and I found this, this one, right in the glove box. So, ask and I shall receive, you know? So the other cool thing, check out this for a Subaru sandbar. It's like a factory rubber grip. So I bet this is the cleanest uh, handhold. Oh, so it's got 8,200 miles. Super clean. This is the original interior. There's no problems with the seat back. I just wanted to put that, th throw that out there. So yeah, I'm super excited guys. Hopefully we can hit those parades together. I'm gonna plan to get a water pump. So I'm gonna light some fires and we're gonna put them out together. It's gonna be super fun. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And that way you can, you know, see us put out the fires. Once we get out, we're gonna put the lights on. We'll put the sirens. We're gonna drive some people around in the back. I mean, is this perfect for like a homecoming king or a homecoming queen? I don't even really wanna drive the thing. I told my wife, I just wanna sit in the back and she can drive me around. I'll feel just sit in the back like a doctor but that's how you gotta do it i'm gonna go up home depot now try to find what thread size this is be interesting to see if it's metric or standard i don't know if this fire apparatus most i mean everything on the ships i call them the ship on the trucks is metric but uh you know if it's an aftermarket or came from america type thing it might be a standard size screw so we'll find out we'll get it going and stay positive Keep that World Trade Center. Watch out for ISIS. They're always lurking out there. And if somebody gives you problems, you know, we show them love. But if you really, sometimes, you know, you have to resort to bringing out the bazooka and the nunchucks, then that's what we gotta do. But stay positive, love you guys, and take it easy, stay mini.